So it's a lovely morning here in Kent and I'm just taking Bertie to school and then I should be going on a nice flight today. Today we're going to be showing you how to do a standard overhead join. As usual, I'm departing from my home base, Biggin Hill. I'm making this film in response to requests from a few viewers who are struggling to understand the UK's standard overhead join. I'm not going to get into the pros and cons of this type of aerodrome arrival, I'm simply going to show you how I do it. Golf Oscar Romeo, report passing Swanley, what level are you climbing to? Volker, climbing altitude 2,300 feet, Golf Oscar Romeo. Welcome aboard everyone, we're on our way to Earl's Cone. Lovely day for flying, it's a bit chilly, freezing outside in fact. For the upside of a cold morning, good performance, good climb rate, good airspeed. We've also got uh, high pressure, so that gives us an extra boost as well. I'm flying visually today, um, the weather's fantastic as you can see. We've come the long way round to depart Biggin Hill off 2-1 because we're heading northeast. we had to head out southwest. Uh, they're using the southwesterly runway even though it's slightly favoured the northeasterly runway but it's, it's not a runway they like to use unless they really have to. The winds aren't particularly strong so it was a uh, crosswind from the right on takeoff. I think I prefer flying at this time of the year than the summer. The air's smoother, performance is better. The only thing you've got to watch out for is the um, frost. So I had our hangar pop our uh, aircraft into the sun for me this morning so that the sun could work its magic before I arrived. Expecting to be a cab okay day all day today, so not expecting any issues with the weather either. He's getting out of your way. Golf Oscar Romeo, Swanley, 2,300 feet. We'd like to change to South End Radar, 130 decimal 775. Golf Oscar Romeo, Squawk 7000, free call South End Radar, bye bye. Squawk 7000, Golf Oscar Romeo. 5050, I'm going to use the listening squawk for South End. which is 5050, they've introduced some new listening squawks. And it means I don't have to call up for a service. Because at the end of the day, a basic service isn't really worth an awful lot. Anyway, so if I just squawk 5050 on the transponder, they know, and everyone else knows, I'm listening to South End. 122425. This track uh, takes us quite close to the South End controlled airspace, but we're going to go slightly under it. We'll be 200 feet below it, although we are quite close to, to another boundary, so we're going to have to fly quite accurately here. Uh, I'm going to listen to Earl's Cone on box two. Traffic ahead. Golf, uh, Alpha Foxtrot, area lad. I'd like to change to watch at 125 decimal 8. Off our Foxtrot, 125 decimal 8, bye bye. Go see Mike Romeo Sierra, South End Radar, pass your message. Go see a Mike Romeo Sierra, the 172 just lifted from North Wheeled, en route to Thurrock. Position is just east of it took me a long time to rig the cameras today. Um, with more and more cameras and more um, interesting attachments, it's taking a lot longer to get them attached and fixed. And uh, usually you've got to be somewhere 
Uh, and you're busy fitting cameras to the to the to the aircraft. I left just the right amount of time today. Lay report uh, from Maidstone, routing to Minster and then to South End. Picking up a bit of turbulence here. Go for mate, Roger. Report turning at Minster. We'll report at Minster. Golf, my mic. Managing time is a big part of flying, I find. Um, obviously, I had to get Bertie off to school this morning, but I had to get up super early to do my pre-flights, check no TAMs, restrictions, do my performance planning, that kind of thing, which meant I had to go to bed early last night. So preparing for a flight, you know, really does start the night before, if not before that. Entry to CTA 4. I'm taking Bertie to school. You know, getting any child out of the door off to school can be challenging sometimes. And you have to build in these buffers of time to make sure, you know, if you've got to be somewhere at a critical time or you want to be somewhere at a particular time. entry to CTA 4 for general handling VFR. You have to build it in and be prepared for the, for the delay. But so sometimes making these videos really does add to the pressure and the time, you know, getting the cameras fitted and so on. So at Chelmsford now. Earl's Cone like you to join overhead, so that's what I'm going to do. But first I need to know what runway they're using and what the circuit direction is. I give them a call in plenty of time to find out. Can Radio, Golf Bravo Hotel, Oscar Romeo, uh, 10 miles to the south, request aerodrome information. Golf Bravo Hotel, Oscar Romeo, Roger, we're 2 4 with a left hand circuit. QNH is 1026, QFE is 1018. 2 4 left hand circuit, QNH 1026, 1018, QFE uh, will join overhead, Golf Oscar Romeo. One interesting peculiarity about Earl's Cone is that its tarmac runway is very narrow. Biggin Hill's taxiways are wider. And with a crosswind from the right, I'm wondering if I'll manage. It's a very, very narrow runway and I'm a bit nervous about it. It's 10 metres wide, which is as wide as my wings. Um, there is grass, so if I can't manage it on the, on the concrete, I will opt for the grass. But let's give it a go. So let's take a closer look now at how we're going to do that overhead join. Earl's Cone is using runway 24. It's a left-hand circuit, so all turns will be to the left. That means that the live side is the side with the circuit pattern on, the dead side the other side. I'm arriving from the south, so I'll cross the runway threshold 2,000 feet above aerodrome level, looking out for other traffic. I'll then report overhead and descend to circuit height on the dead side, traffic permitting, starting a turn round to the left. I should cross the upwind end of the runway at circuit height, here a thousand feet. I'm watching carefully for anything taking off or joining downwind. I'm now on the live side and will call downwind. I'll look out for anything joining base, then turn base, and then finally final. There's a good explanation of this in the CAA's Skyway Code document. Golf Oscar Romeo, overhead. Golf Oscar Romeo, Roger. So let's see how it works out, for real. Golf Oscar Romeo, descending dead side. Golf Oscar Romeo, Roger. Uh, Golf Alpha Charlie climbing to the overhead to set course. Golf Alpha Charlie, Roger. So we're in the descent now. And see nothing joining onto downwind as far as the eye can see. The aim is to cross crosswind. Golf Tango Bravo clear zone to the southeast and changing to south end 130 decimal 775. Golf Tango Bravo to south end 130 decimal 775. Bye bye.
Brakes are on, uh, off I mean. Undercarriage is fixed, mixture is rich. Fuel pump is on, we've got enough quantities to go around. Engine temperatures and pressures are in the green. Golf Oscar Romeo downwind, left hand 2-4 to land. Golf Oscar Romeo downwind, roger. Oscar Romeo turning base. Oscar Romeo, Roger. A Golf Alpha Charlie overhead. Uh, the ATZ change of frequency to Watersham 125 decimal 8. Golf Alpha Charlie 125 decimal 8. Bye bye. Bye bye for now. Oscar Romeo, final 2-4 to land. Golf Oscar Romeo, Roger, and it is 3-0-1-2-0. Three, three, Golf Oscar Romeo. I think that all worked out marvellously. Thanks for watching. Get in touch if there's anything you'd like me to cover in future episodes. Remember, there's a frequently asked questions page, downloadable flight tracks and details of upcoming flights on my website. Details in the video description. See you soon.